86-year-old Raul Castro passed the baton Thursday to a new president of Cuba. Miguel Mario Diaz Canal Bermudez was the only candidate for the job after Castro announced his exit. Members of the National Assembly were almost unanimous in approving the 57-year-old for the top government position. Cuban-born Congresswoman Ileana ross Leitnan does not expect much to change under the new leadership. The reality is that the Cuban people will be no closer to freedom today than they were yesterday. No closer to democracy today than they were yesterday. President Obama restored diplomatic relations with Cuba in 2014, but the Trump White House has rolled back some of that re-engagement policy. President Trump gave two thumbs up on the tarmac in Key West when reporters asked him about the change of power. Raul Castro, who will continue to serve as the head of Cuba's Communist Party, accused the U.S. president of trying to isolate Cuba. Castro launched some of his own reforms after taking the reins from his brother, Fidel, in 2008. In a speech to the Cuban people, Diaz-Canel said he'd preserve communism on the island while promising a more responsive government and economic improvement. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House.